One of the biggest winter travel issues in Wyoming is the wind. Blowing snow creates drifting, icing, and low visibility, which presents safety issues for travelers and challenges for whiteout maintenance crews working to keep roads open. Whiteout conditions, ground blizzard, just limited visibility in general. And it's not necessarily caused by the storm that is happening at the moment. It could be caused by the wind storm that happens after the snow has been deposited. To help combat the problem, Whiteout relies on more than 460 miles of snow fence, which act as a windbreak and capture blowing snow in drifts. Not all on one road, quite a bit of it is on I-80. We have a lot on I-25 and I-90. And of course, our primaries have quite a few runs of snow fence. So it, it's a large system. When properly placed, the snow fence can provide downwind protection for nearly a mile, improving road conditions for travelers and easing the burden on Whiteout maintenance crews. And that's what we're trying to do is move it to where we are not pushing that snow with our plows. We've got it stored behind the snow fences. YDOT continues to add new snow fence in problem areas as a proven low-cost technique to reduce crashes and prevent road closures. We'd love to put snow fence on all of it, but we can't. We just don't have the funds for it or the landowner's permission. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.